Oh snap, we back at it again. I am James Michael, this is Jamie Reviews, and today we got the new 2017 edition of the Adidas Energy Boost, the Energy Boost 4. The upper brings a new revamped version of the Tech Fit upper called Aramis, and I'm probably mispronouncing that, but that's okay. It is basically a mesh that is almost like an elastic, rubbery material that is meant to give you a nice snug, secure fit. I noticed the pattern of the upper is a bit different than last year's model. I believe this may allow the one-piece upper to be a bit more accommodating to a variety of runners. The breathability is okay, not bad, but not great either. After about 3 or 4 miles, my feet start to feel a bit hot. To be fair, I was running in the middle of a 90 degree day, in which is never a good idea. Like the previous energy boost, this shoe gets a structure from a cage that wraps around the heel and the midfoot to help with the lockdown of the shoe. Some people refer to the cage as the cage of death because the cage will irritate them after a while. Luckily Adidas changed the cage material to a more softer material. It's almost like a nylon blend which really helps with the comfort. With the combination of the upper material and the cage system, the shoe has a very secure fit. Many runners for the last year's model ran narrow. Now this model is still snug in the midfoot but it opens up around the toe box area. This alone makes the shoe much more comfortable. And now into the midsole. Boost. Now I am sure by now you guys know I'm a fan of boost. In this year's model, it feels like they have more boost than previous iterations. Now there's a small lining of EVA right under the foot above the boost, which allows the shoe to have a more stable ride compared to the ultra boost where some might find it too mushy or too soft. But don't be fooled, this shoe has a very comfortable ride and gives you enough cushion to attack any long distance run. The energy return on the shoe is about as good as it gets. It's responsive and cushioned, and to me it's almost a perfect blend for a dedicated running shoe. The ride is only enhanced by adding the torsion system that allows the shoe to flex and adapt for a nice transition. Okay, so I don't want to say that this shoe is better than the Ultra Boost, but I think runners will like the smooth, controlled, supportive ride that this shoe can provide. Anyway, onto the outsole. Adidas, you finally did it. They brought over the stretch web continental rubber to this shoe, very similar to the Ultra Boost. The traction did well even on wet grass. I would say this shoe would be durable on just about any surface. Now don't go running into the woods, stick to the trail shoes for that. But you'll be fine on just about anything else. The Energy Boost is an amazing shoe. Amazing cushion, smooth ride, and improved fit, improved outsole. Now I will say this shoe felt a little bit heavier than I would like. The cage probably weighs it down, and adding the continental rubber probably adds a bit too. Like if I were to ever find a 7th Dragon Ball, I would summon Shinron and ask him to lower the weight of the shoe. That is impossible. Now, speak a new wish. Well, you heard the dragon, guys. With that said, when it comes to the Adidas Energy Boost 4... Excellent. I do approve. Thank you for watching this review, and please subscribe if you are new. Check out some of my other videos, and I will see you guys in the comment section below. Later.